Welcome back folks to the VIA pinstriping page. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to be using the Kafka scroller number one. This is currently my favorite pinstriping brush. And we're just going to be making a design. I haven't had a chance to make a video in a while. Not one where I'm doing stuff. <laughs> uh, I was able to capture a little bit of video when we did our classes. But I figured it would be a good opportunity for me to create a design for everybody and to make a video. So that's what we're doing today. <clears throat> this brush actually I was able to um, purchase from somebody online that was selling their entire pinstriping and lettering supplies. So I got a pretty good deal. Um, aside from getting, well, I'd say about 10 or 12 cans of paint, uh, I got a couple of Kafka brushes, which as everybody knows are my favorite. Um, <clears throat> a couple of long liners, some um, um, water soluble pencils. Uh, <clears throat> I believe they were the Stedler Omnichrome Lumo Color pencils. That's something like that, I think it's what they're called. <clears throat> and uh, some pinstriping brushes. So it was, a, it was a great deal. I think I paid $100 plus shipping. So I must have got mm, maybe $600 worth of stuff. Now this was mm, earlier in the week. <clears throat> and I actually haven't had a chance to touch my brushes since I've been back. From the classes so what you're seeing is the first time that I've had a chance to touch paint or pinstriping brushes in roughly about a week I try not to go that long but sometimes life gets in the way and sometimes you're just away from the situation <clears throat> So, right now what I'm trying to do is create a center. And this is going to be what I'm going to build my design off of. <clears throat> now instead of doing just a full teardrop shape all the way down, um, I crossed it. I stopped here, crossed it, and made this circular area, and did a filled in teardrop shape at the bottom. Just kind of breaks it up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add some weight on each side. I'm always starting on my least dominant side, so I'm, 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 uh, I'm least dominant on my left, being that I'm right-handed, so I always start on that side. Let me show you all real fast. <clears throat> I did lose a hair here, and that does happen with all pinstriping brushes. It does not mean really anything. It's just a loose hair. Over time, they all lose hairs. <clears throat> it's just part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a line that goes parallel to this one. I'm actually going to go outward just a little bit before I run it parallel. I'm going to try to make it as parallel as I can. Stopping at the same point that I stopped before. And I'm going to continue that by going outward, starting at the connecting point here at the top, going outward, running parallel with that one for a little while until the very end, then I'm going to taper inward. All right, just adding a little bit of weight. <clears throat> Normally when I make these videos, I try to make this stuff 
a little bit more exaggerated so it's easier to see uh, but like I said it's been the first time that I've picked up a brush roughly about a week maybe a week and a half and this is kind of what's coming out try not to overthink it <clears throat> Try not to uh, make any mistakes. I don't want to wipe anything off. So if I make a mistake today, I'll, I'll try to just fix it without wiping, and that'll kind of show one method of, of fixing a mistake. So there you go. A little bit of weight on both sides. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to add some weight down here, right? So I have a lot of weight on top. I'm going to try to add some weight on the bottom. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. I'm going to do a nice C curve, right? So I'm going to start a little bit far out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something that turns more at the bottom than at the top, right? So I'm here. I'm kind of going to make a hard turn. Right, <clears throat> it's a C, but it's kind of a somewhat stylized C, if 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 you will. Instead of just making the the curve all the way around, I, I went semi straight. It's a little curve to it, semi straight, and then a hard curve out. The stuff that you want to keep in mind if you're doing it on purpose, uh, even if you do it by accident, you want to try to uh, make sure the other side remains the same. So slight curve. Try to keep the same distance. But when I get to about the middle, I go ahead and hit it with that hard turn. All right. It's one of the reasons I really enjoy doing designs with the scrollers. I don't have to really think about making that turn. Um, I do like to do this stuff sitting down. It's it's my preference. Um, being that this is you know. This is a passion of mine, but I'm not working on a car, so I'm not having to kill myself. And uh, to be honest, these things really lend themselves better to be sitting down, where with the sword, you really kind of need to stand up to get your whole body to make that thing turn. There's, uh, at least that's my opinion, right? <clears throat> so now that I've done that, try to figure out a way to incorporate these into this so I could either make a, a downward C curve I could add a point so that's what I think we'll, we'll do is we'll kind of add a point here right so I'm gonna go downward I'll go downward just add like a point down there it's gonna go about halfway and do the same thing over here now some people ask why wouldn't I go down because sometimes I go up it's just out of um, convenience with the way my it feels comfortable, right? So that feels more comfortable right now in the position that I'm in than um, going like this, right? So it's just about comfort. <clears throat> when you go to do this stuff, you wanna you wanna be as comfortable as you can, if possible, and uh, work work to your to your abilities to what you can and can't do so i think i'm going to go up i'm going to try to kind of not go too far but i'm going to go up just a little bit all right kind of giving me an arrow effect right and i'm about oh i don't know half inch away from the from the guideline here that i've given myself and i'm going to do the same thing over here there's a slight arch to it. It's not perfectly straight, so I'm going to try to make sure I give this a slight arch, right? Slight arch. All right. <clears throat> now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm, I'm thinking about connecting it this way, but I think it'd be more fun for me to just draw a line straight through and see how that looks. When drawing a line straight through the design, 
You gotta be real careful. <clears throat> Consider all your meeting points. Uh, because uh, you're kind of cutting through everything you just did. So I'm going to give that a shot. Now the question is, do I want to go downward curve or upward curve? Now being how far out this is, I think an upward curve would look better. I'm going to give it a shot, all right? So I'm going to start here. Go a little bit arched. Stop right there. I'll try to do the same thing over here, and I'm going to try to really consider that line to where it crosses right in the middle. Crosses about right here. Cuts a little bit, a little bit above the 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 crossing point of the uh, grid line. <clears throat> try to remain on that same arch. Try to end at the same spot. All right. So there's a lot of things I'm trying to get done here. We'll see if I can execute it. It's pretty close. <clears throat> uh, the big giveaway is there is a slightly bigger hole here than there is over there, but pretty good. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> now, I haven't done anything with these two open lines. Um, there is a rule of thumb that says you would, if you can, try to connect your open lines somehow. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, let's see here. Now my options are to cut across, I can cut across a little taller, I could turn this into sort of an arrow, hmm. I can come inward, I mean there's a lot of options here, so I think what I'm going to do is, hmm. I mean I like the way the design looks, but what I do with these can change it quite a bit, so I think what I'm going to do is, I'll try to connect it. I'll try to connect it low. I'm going to do arch. I'm going to try to go all the way across and keep the same arch. Okay. Go all the way across. Try to keep the same arch. And there you have it. It's pretty close. Pretty close. <clears throat> Now let's see how I can turn this into some finishing moves here. All right. So uh, my options are to elongate it, cut it back in. Kind of enjoying the tightness of the design. So let me see. I think my best bet would be to cut it in. Try to go for a similar thing where I just go all the way across. So let's see if I can make that happen. Now you can do this in two pieces. You can go up and go back down or you can try to do it all at once. And that's what I'm going to go for here. I'm going to start here at the connection point. Go up and go back down and try to really consider that space there. Right. I did muddy up the point a little, but what we can do is we can push down halfway through, get that same thickness, and bring it down. You know, that kind of turned it a little bit more into a point again. And I'll do the same thing here. Push down, get the same thickness, and lift back up just to get it to a point. All right, so I got a nice sharp point on both sides. This side is a little thicker, so you can always kind of fake that by adding some more weight to this one, lifting up before you get to the end. Especially if you if you're happy with your points, kind of don't want to keep adding to the to the to the ends because <clears throat> Lord knows we've all just tried to keep going and keep going and keep fixing and it just never really works out so if you got a really pretty end try to make sure you don't mess that up All right 
So we have a decent amount of weight on top. A little bit of weight here, kind of mid-bottom. Let's see if we can just add something to the bottom here to finish it off. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to pull some lines that come straight off of here and maybe just create something like a square. So I'm going to pull out right out of the middle of this. Do a slight arch outward. All right? That's a fairly uh, cohesive curve there, so we'll try to keep that on this side. Kind of just coming directly out of the middle of this line. Slight curve. All right? Try to make sure you keep the same gaps. And I'm trying to think. You know what? I like the idea of the curve. So we've been doing the curves. So I'm going to try to do another curve here. All right. Keep the same arch all the way through. I'll be honest, I struggle with those quite a bit. I always end up with like one side a little bit more curved, one side a little taller. So I like to practice those as much as I can. And I think that's, uh, that's the design for today. It's got a little bit of weight. Decent. I think that would look good maybe on the uh, uh, above a tail light of an old old school car you know or something above the uh the headlights where it like protrudes uh, that could even look good in the uh the middle of a trunk or something um you could always add another color um teardrop shapes you can add teardrop shapes to add a little bit more weight you can also do these which are always fun. Almost like tube socks. Kind of breaks up that center. When you do those, <clears throat> you could also do them on these openings. Small things to break up the design, something kind of gives it just a little bit more. Uh, just be careful because uh, you can overdo it sometimes. So I think we'll leave it as is. I'm going to put my signature here at the bottom. And I appreciate you all watching. Uh, make sure you check out the other videos I have. Uh, currently some 400 plus videos all on the topic of pinstriping and uh, I appreciate everybody watching <clears throat> um, like I said recently we've been able to do some uh, in-person classes with my friend Robert Messenger um, the last last class was in Houston Texas um, I could see us doing Houston again because that's where he's based out of so Keep an eye out, folks, and uh, have a wonderful day. I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment in the comment section and give it a like. Take care.